Hey, welcome to the Taste Bud TV. Today, a very quick show. We're going to show you how to make fennel spice rub. It's a rub that you can put on almost anything. It's great on steaks, seafood, poultry, chicken, even popcorn. If you start putting this stuff on a freshly pot bag of popcorn instead of all those gobs and gobs of butter that's horrible for you, you're never going to go back. So much more flavor in this. To start out with the fennel spice rub, it's really simple. We just take our uh, mixture of spices here, some dried spices you can buy at pretty much any store that you go to. We have, uh, we have coriander, we have fennel seed, and then right over here, we have the uh, white peppercorn and the black peppercorn. About uh, three tablespoons of uh, the coriander, three tablespoons of the uh, fennel uh, seed, and about a tablespoon and a half or so of uh, both of the peppercorns right there is what we're going to be using. So to uh, get this going, quite simply, all we do is we get a pan nice and hot. So we're going to turn that up to about a, uh, a medium heat or so on our stove. Okay? So get the pan going nice and warm, and then really all you have to do is just dump those spices right on into the pan. You want to make sure that you get them nice and evenly spread out. When you're toasting spices, the, the, the trick here is not to burn them. So we're going to get them evenly spread out in a flat layer. Make sure you're using a pan, first of all, that is big enough to, uh, to be able to spread these spices out uh, evenly so you don't have like three or four layers deep because if you do that, uh, some of those spices are going to get toasted, some are not going to get so toasted. We're going to let these sit on here for probably about two to three minutes. The key is really watching it. When you start seeing some little things of smoke rising above the pan, that's when you know you got to toss it around again. Again, we're not trying to burn these. We just want to get them toasted so a nice, you know, slightly brown, slightly more colorized version of these is what we're going for. And eventually you're going to start to hear these spices almost kind of crackle and pop. And that's a good sign. It means you're getting close to them being done. Just when you start hearing that, make sure you start to, to toss that pan around a little bit to get those, uh, those flavors and the, uh, the heat evenly spread out amongst all the seeds in there. Just like that. And once we got it all toasted up, you want to put it down on a cool plate. It doesn't have to be refrigerated or ice cold or anything like that. It just needs to be a, a, basically a room temperature plate. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grind these up. If you grind them too quickly when they're really super hot, they're going to get all gummy and give you that texture that's not going to be very much of a powder, which is what you need for the spice from that we're doing. I wish you could smell those spices. So aromatic. You want to use fresh spices. Now, of course, they are dry, so they're not fresh from the garden, but they haven't been sitting in the back of a cupboard either for four or five years. There is a difference. Spices do lose a lot of their, their potency, their characteristics, if they've been sitting in there for a long period of time. So when you buy your spices, make sure that they're fairly fresh. you got to take a look at the date on those bottles. Some bottles have the dates, some don't. Make sure you're buying ones that do have a date. All right, so we got the spices all here, and we're going to get them... All right, so we got the spices all here. Our next step is to get them into a food processor, or what I like to use to grind my spices up. You can, of course, use spice mills. I use a, uh, a coffee grinder. It works great. I have a coffee grinder specifically for coffee and a coffee grinder specifically for grinding spices. All right, our grinder is all filled up. Now, this next step is really very, very optional. It's completely up to you whether or not you like your spice rubs, a little bit of kick or a little bit of spice to it. I personally love spiciness, so I'm going to add a uh, dried chili here. Now, it's important. If you're going to add a chili to it, make sure it is super dry. Just as dry as those spices that we just toasted up. Otherwise, you're going to get that whole gumminess thing going on. You can't add a fresh chili to something like this. So I'm going to break that up and put it right into the mixture. All right, our spice mill is all filled up, or our coffee grinder in this case, all filled up. Get your cover on there nice and tight. And start grinding away. And that's all she wrote. Once you get it all done grinding, put it in a nice little container like this, and let's get a little bit. Hmm. Ooh, there's a little bit of kick to that when I added that pepper to it. So be careful with the peppers. If you like it spicy, add the pepper. If not, you know, just stick with the fennel alone. But that is some good fennel spice rub. Thanks for watching the Taste Spot TV.